In this video, we will search for the screening rate of completed mammograms for one provider. There are a couple things I need to explain before we get started. First things first is uh, when you are producing any kind of a screening rate, you are going to be searching for two different sets of numbers. One of those searches will be to find out what your numerator is. The second search will tell you what your denominator is. Those two numbers are going to be expressed as a fraction. So what I'm going to do is walk you through the searches that you would do for a mammogram screening rate. So to start finding your numerators and denominators, let's start by going into settings. And usually your denominator is the easiest one to find first. So we're going to go settings, edit searches, and what we're going to look for first is going to be um, the number of people who are eligible for a mammogram uh, to be done, okay? Now we do have a couple of your searches that are already built, okay? But uh, for our purposes, I will build this one from scratch for you, okay? So we're going to add a search and we're going to say, uh, we're going to call it mam mammogram eligible. Okay, so this would be the number of people who are eligible to have this screening done, okay? So we're going to add a line and the first thing that we're going to do is look to make sure that uh, we want people who are really only active patients, okay? Which means we don't want to include any of the patients who are deceased who have left the practice. So we're going to scroll down to patient status and we're going to select is equal to and then we're going to select select active, okay? Then press OK. Next filter we're going to search is the age range. Oh, sorry, actually, let's do the, um, the gender first, okay? So we'll add the line, and we will do... This one is under sex, is female. And there's all that's required for that one. We're going to add that one. Now we're going to add another one, and this time we're going to look for the age range. So we want, um, now we can't do a range with what you see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two separate ones. We're going to do age is uh, greater than or equal to 50 and say OK. And then we're going to add it again and say of anybody who is an age who is less than or equal to 74. Now, if you recall, these again are the guidelines from ASAP and TOP. Um, some physicians choose to make uh, their ages different, or they may do a slightly different guideline. I'm just following the ASAP ones for the moment. Okay, so now you have an age range between the ages of 50 and 74. Now, that's pretty much who your eligible patients are going to be. Okay, and we may actually want to specify. Um, which doctor, and in this case, I'm, we're just going to select all doctors. Okay, so we're going to hit perform search. All right, we've come up to this screen. We've got all our doctors checked. Okay, and just hit search. Okay, now I come up with a number of 10 people. That means that 10 people in this clinic um, are eligible to have had a mammogram. So now this becomes our denominator. This is the number of people eligible for that screen. Now what we want to know is um, next is our numerator and that's going to be a separate search but what it's going to tell us is that of this number of people, of these 10 people, how many of these have got an actual current mammogram on file, meaning that they've had one done within the last two years. Okay, so we're going to close this. We wrote down our number of 10 as our denominator we're just going to close this and now we're going to do a second search. Oh, let's get rid of that. We're going to go into searches again. And again, I'll create this one from scratch. So we're literally going to create virtually the same search that we had before. We're just going to add some additional criteria. So we're going to call this one um, mammogram. Oops, let's spell that right. done. Okay, and you can name it anything you like. So we're just going to go and add all the things that we had before. So we're going to start with patient status. 
And I'll go through this one a little quicker because we've already done this. Okay, then we're going to add the next one. We want the patient sex is going to equal female, is female. Okay, then the next line we're going to add is the age. So we want age of anybody who is greater than or equal to 50. Okay, we're going to add age is less than or equal to 74. Okay, now this time, this is what we did to find our denominators, but now we're going to define this just a little bit more. So we want to know that of those 10 people, which would have been this criteria right here, how many of them had a mammogram on file within the last two years. So the next thing we're going to do is look for the document in the chart. So we're going to add another line. We're going to go to Diagnostic Imaging, and then we're going to look for Mammogram. Don't forget that this list is likely reflects the same list that you have created for all your keywords when you're scanning. Okay, so we're going to select Mammogram, and then we're going to say, so months since latest would be greater than, or well, let's say greater than 24. Okay, so it's 24 months, which is two years. Now we're going to click OK. And we're going to assume that this search does not include any kind of exclusion criteria. So we've got our denominator of those 10 people. So now all we've done is created the same search and then added one additional filter to it. Okay, so now we're going to perform the search. Okay, we're going to again leave all the doctors checked and then hit search. Okay, and it tells us that four people out of those 10 have a current mammogram on file. Okay, now when you're doing a screening rate, uh, for the time being, PS Suite does not have the ability to record or capture the offer of a screen. Okay, so it might be that your physician has. Uh, these four people do have a current mammogram on file, but maybe the remaining six, he did speak to them and say, you know, it's really important that you have one, uh, which would be considered an offer, but we're not able to capture that with PS Suite for the moment. Uh, so the search that we just ran tells us that these four people have a current mammogram on file. So what you would do with that number next is you would take four and divide by 10. 4 divided by 10 would be equal to 0 0.40, that would be expressed as a decimal. Then you times it by 100, and times it by 100 gives you your percent. And 40 is your screening rate for mammograms for this clinic.